Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and if you own an Android or a Google-based television set, eventually you probably get an error like this that you're running out of storage. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to maximize your storage and use a thumb drive to create extra space for the data and photos on your television set so you can download more applications that you really want to have. So let's go ahead and dive into the menu so I can show you guys how this process is done. The first thing I want to show you guys is this is what the interface looks like and if you go down here to applications, you can see a list of all the apps you have installed on your Android or Google TV. But there's some things on here that you probably don't need, whether it's bloatware that was installed from the factory or it was something that you installed and you just don't need anymore. The first thing you want to do is go over here to systems inside of your settings and then you want to go down to storage. Under storage, you have internal shared storage. So if we click on that and go down to the bottom, this will show you how much available space you have left in your television set. Even though it started off with 4.4 gigs, now it only has 447. So that's why you get that error. Now inside of here, you have some miscellaneous and you have some data. I'm gonna show you guys how to move that over to a memory card in just a little bit here. Now, a lot of people don't know, when you buy these TV sets, they have demo content for retail stores. The first thing you can do is go in here and check and see if your demo content has already been deleted. But if you see some information, you can hit okay and go ahead and delete that storage. And that'll start off the process of getting more memory. The next thing I would do is back under settings, I'm gonna click on application. And then I'm gonna go down here where it says, see all applications. Now this is a list of all the apps that are installed in the TV set. So what I would do is just go through this list and start off uninstalling the ones that you really don't need or have ever used. So I would click on this, hit OK, and it's gonna start the process. Now in some cases, you'll see something like the Apple TV. You can't uninstall it because it was bloatware from the factory. However, you can disable it so it doesn't try to use any more data in the future. But don't worry, you can turn it back on anytime that you like. And again, I'm just gonna go down here and uninstall applications I don't need. So I think you guys get the point. Just go one by one, make sure something you or the family members don't need and take it off the TV set. Now we have that done, let's go back into your system and then go back down here to storage. When I press on it, go down to the bottom. And as you can see, now I have 2.2 gigabytes of available memory for applications. Now we're back on the app tray. I can click on application, hit install, and there you go, no problem. Now if you just monitor how much memory you have in your television set, you can keep uninstalling and installing different applications. So next, I just found a thumb drive. This is a 64 gigs, but reality, you only need something that's four to eight gigs to be able to make this work because only things gonna be moving to this is the data of your applications. The apps themselves will stay on the television set. So uh, let's go ahead and plug this in. Now, just in case your TV set has it, you're gonna see a blue USB inside of here and you can see the thumb drive I have is blue as well. That is what they call USB 3. So it has a faster interface with the television set. All you need to do is just uh, line it up, plug it in, and now on the front panel, the television set will indicate that it found the USB drive. You can play certain files, but I'm gonna show you where you can use it for storage. It's a feature called migration. So if you go back under systems and then go down to storage, it says Memorex USB drive. And as you see with this plugged in, I have a few options. I can set it up as a removable storage. I can also set it up as a device storage. Now, if you use device storage, you could cause a problem in the TV set. So you have to choose that wisely. And again, I'm just showing you guys how you can do this, but enter at your own risk. Now, as long as you keep the thumb drive plugged in, you can now go to settings and then go back over here to where it says system. Under system, you wanna go back down to storage. Then you can click on your USB drive. In this case, I'm using a Memorex 64 gig. So now what we're gonna do is migrate data over to the storage. And by migrating the data, it's gonna move your photos, files, or any app data over to the thumb drive. But keep in mind, sometimes the applications don't work properly, so you might have to move those files back. But let's go ahead and hit move. And this process can take generally between two to five minutes. Now that the process is completed, anytime you use a lot of applications, you can migrate some of that data over to this drive. And again, that's gonna help out with your storage on your television set. The last thing I wanna tell you guys about this process is that whenever you migrate your data over to the thumb drive, make sure you migrate it back to the television set because if you unplug that thumb drive, you're gonna lose some of the files and some of the presets that you put in the TV set previously. So if this video helped you guys out, make sure you go and tell a friend, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.